Hi guys, this is Miranda here, back with you to show you how to make your countertops look like granite. And I had posted a video a while back and um, the kitchen looks completely different. The countertops are granite obviously, but the cabinets have been painted and we have got full size refrigerator. So, um, I looked at this the other day and I've got a few questions here is on asking me what did I use and could I demonstrate that again? Absolutely. I have two cutting boards and you can see the gloss on the countertops. It's very, very pretty, very high gloss. I absolutely love it. Our next step is getting faucets put in and I'll try to get to everyone's questions, but I think that you can look around and see it looks amazing. Let me show you what this looked like before. This was the countertop before the project. And this only took, like, one night. Guess how much it cost? $25. $25. So, let's jump right into that. You're going to need a couple of rollers. You're going to, there's no sanding. There's no sanding. And I'm telling you guys, this, this is some nice gloss. I mean, it's, it's really good. Um, you're going to need a couple of rollers because you're going to do the primer, the kilts. Make sure you get the oil base. That's going to be your difference maker. All right. And then uh, polyurethane clear gloss. And you can choose whatever colors. This is, I had this question uh, by several people. Use whatever color you want for your kitchen. Um, when I got the, the white base down, and then I done my primary color, which was black. I was like, I love it. I love it, you know. I was like, oh, I'm going to keep on because I got these other colors. The reason I got the white is because in case I messed up, I could go back and, you know, fix it. But you pick out the colors that, that you want. Now, I just use Earth Tone. To answer your questions exactly, um, this is Classic Caramel. This is Real Brown. Alright, this one's white and this one is black. I do think I'm, I think I'm missing a color, but if I am, it's not a very big deal, I don't think. Because we're just going to do the cutting boards. Alright, so, check this out. You're going to need scissors, and I thought I had some laying out. I'll grab these. They have these sponges at these uh, Hobby Lobbies and things like that. They're like $30. Guys, don't do that. Okay, I went to the dollar store, just got some dollar sponges, and that's that's what I've done. I actually, when i done this one, i done the square one. The other thing that you're going to need, you're going to need a couple of these. Um, you're going to need, oh, daubers. These. They have these in the kids section instead of getting the wooden ones. They could, this is like a big pack. So, like, if you want to do your kitchen right now and then your bathroom later, you, you could just throw these away. Like, it was $2 and something. And I'm talking, they had all kinds of shapes and sizes. And I love this because you can, like, really get around the corners with it. And I'll get to that. But what, what I want to <clears throat> really go over is the sponges. So... The artist sponges, I noticed they were very unique, and I took art, so I know that when you're painting things like this, what you're wanting is your very unique pattern. I mean, it just anything that you just get to cutting. I mean, there's no right or wrong way to do this, you know, and... It just turns out so beautiful, but yeah, just just bend it and cut it and jab it and just do a couple of sponges like that or however many colors you have. And I think what I've done is I cut mine in half, and then you can really utilize this base and there we go. I am ready for some dip right there and. 
this I'm doing the cutting board I don't know exactly how much primer is in there I'm hoping there's enough to shoot this entire video uh, I really really do Back to the project. That woman changing her mind. Happens all the time. Alright. And I'm just gonna get it on here. And this is this is the part where if you're really, really you got the slick roll. Okay, you gotta have the smooth surface sponge. You will not have to do the sanding. I'm gonna make sure I don't have anything on here. Okay. With the smooth surface roller. And the only thing, the only way you're really going to, like, you can't mess it up. Unless you're, like, really, like, trying to, like, accidentally maybe, I don't know, applying too much pressure. Because then you'll have lines. So just go back. Let this make that were to happen. And, it, and it's happened, so... And that itself, this right here, is already looking very pretty. I, I like it, you know. Try to take some of that off. And still, I'm going to go around it because I know I'm coming back over it with the... Alright, now I'm going to kind of dab it like this. This is up to you. It's your style. But this is what I've done to kind of, like, really beat in the, the colors together. So, you can see the sharp black popping out, and then you can see the gray peeping through, and like I said, that right, that part right there, it's okay. I, I knew that was going to happen, so I don't want you guys, when you, when you start doing it, to freak out and go, oh no, it's not making a putter. There's no specific pattern to any of this. Alright, so now, I'm on to the second piece. So, once you like get your oil base primer down like it's all fun from there talking about earlier was going back to your black at the end you can see it coming through I've done this side already um, but that's part of the color is the black so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with this one and you can kind of see how it develops this only takes a few seconds here and if you want you can start out light and 
it's looking better and better every single dog. But the what I done with the two earth tone brown colors that I had is I just kept patting them down until there wasn't much white hardly at all popping out. And <clears throat> A little extra over there, so I'm just gonna add some over here just to make it look even because there's no true marble, there's no marble that's exact pattern that's real granite, real marble, or whatever. So you can keep that in mind. So it's your own unique project, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and touch the edges and then we'll get right back to you with the color you're the last step. I know uh, when we put the oil base kilts down we were really quick to go ahead with the acrylic that part's okay to do. However, when you get to the polyurethane step, be sure to let it completely dry before you start putting polyurethane on there. So we'll be back again in this dry. You can see guys, this, uh, the small cutting board has one, or really two, thick coats of polyurethane. This one doesn't. We're fixing to apply that now. And again, the same thing with the um, primer. I'm using everything disposable. Something you should know is uh, this really, really drinks a lot of polyurethane. So you're going to be dipping and going back to it very, very often. And it's not the same color. We did talk and find out we are missing a color. But um, it's, it's close enough. Just going to smooth it out. You can see it getting its claws there. And I like, I like both of them, you know, um, we had picked a very light tan, beige looking, and we just cannot find it. So, unfortunately, they're not going to match completely identical, but that's okay. And... Once it sets up, now the harder you push, you just you just want to let the roller roll it. And it's gonna have. Don't worry about it. I know it. it I'm when you're first doing it, you're like, because <gasps> you can see streaks or air bubbles. Don't worry about that because when it sits, it goes away. You can see the the final on the one uh, that we're actually doing this one on top of and this one was done the exact same way but it wouldn't hurt to have another coat anyway just saying <laughs>